Welcome back to Season 3, Episode 4. We're under attack, so let's check these guys out real quick. Some more pirates from the Saw Rhinos. Looks like we have four of them this time. We have a normal survival rifle, which would be great, as well as this pistol. Awful condition, though it may be. And a shiv. Let's check out their stats real quick. Uh, good at combat. Not good at combat, and not great at combat. So, Belcourt here is someone that I'm definitely interested in recruiting. Careful shooter, always a good stat to have. Makes them fire slower, but they are more accurate. Abrasive sucks because he could affect our colonists negatively in terms of their mood. But yeah, that shooting seal is pretty nice. Um, Gregory here, you know, don't really care. And this guy, don't really care either. Very neurotic. Uh, maybe, maybe not. That's interesting. It's got a plus 12 mental break threshold and then a minus 9. So, yeah. That's a, uh, ooh, I just noticed this stuff up here. Gonna unforbid that, that way after the combat, they go get it. These guys are attacking immediately, so I'm just gonna go ahead and recruit everyone. Prissy, just pretty much stay in your room. Axel, Tom, and Ogre can come outside. And let's see how this goes. Um, I think we'll put Tom up here on this corner, Axel back here on this corner, and Ogre at this corner. And this should should be okay. I may have to move back a little bit more. And I can actually go ahead and, while I'm thinking about it, remove... Wait, no, we don't have planes there. We have floor being set. Okay, so yeah. Axel, I might should have a little further up in the beginning so he can get some shots. Looks like Bass is actually going to get under attack, so let's go see if Axel can get up there and help out. Bass isn't even firing. Uh, we will try to rescue her. I'm assuming it's a her, it's a dude. Okay, so let's see if we can get up here and maybe stop that from happening. Let's bring everyone up. Alright, we want him to drop her because, well, I mean, we're, we're trying to save her. And at the same time, we also do want to capture him. Hopefully, they don't shoot each other. Okay, he's almost down. Pretty much Axel doing everything. Okay, he's down for good. Let's have Tom go rescue her, or him. I'm going to keep calling him, calling him a her because of the hair. And we'll have Ogre come strip. Brought some silver, brought a meal for us. Don't know where the steel is just randomly coming from, or these survival meals. I'm pretty sure I'm not missing this stuff. But, you know, I, I might be. Alright, and actually, Ogre, you can go ahead and haul him back. What is this rifle at percentage-wise? 100, which is amazing. So, I believe Tom... Tom's got the next best shooting skill. So once we do this, we will have him go get that survival rifle and equip it. Which means Prissy will have a gun as well. Which is great. And I believe Ogre's gun is fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so Vast here. We're going to give them some medicine. We will definitely need medicine now. I'll be on the lookout for some seeds for Zaragum. That way we can make some natural medicine. And we will have geothermal done soon. Hopefully Vast makes it and we get some some nice rep with this faction. Are you just you're just leaving now? Okay, that's fine. You can leave. Uh, what faction your Kindness Valley? So hopefully we get a, a boost with them. Let's see if we do have one already. Uh, Kindness Valley, they were minus 26 before. I do remember that. Cargo pods nearby. That is a lot of stuff that we'll be able to trade. Wait, are those all singles? No, they're not singles. Okay. So this will be good for trading. Wild boar died down here. Uh, we're okay on meat. We have enough meals. We need some berries. Actually, I will go ahead and give the hunt order 
Uh, still pretty much just want Ogre to do it to get that skill up. But I guess it would be good for everyone to get their skill up, so... Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and hunt some stuff. We'll get these boars. They're just kind of hanging around. Hopefully we don't have any friendly fire accidents going on. And we could definitely use a light in here. Now that I think about it. So let's put a light back here. Alright, we have a lot of meat now. So hopefully we'll have a good amount of meals. Probably didn't need that much meat. Geothermal power, that is amazing. So let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to research next. Um, gun turret cooling. Well, we don't actually have turrets, period. I guess I could have looked to see if we could build turrets. But I believe we need a part to build it. Um, smithing. I don't... Or not smithing. Uh, hydroponics won't actually help us because... I'm pretty sure the blight still destroys anything that's in the hydroponics bed or a table. Um, so what do we need? Food processing I'm not worried about at the moment. I mean it could be good but I'd rather them eat meals instead of nutrient paste. Gun turret cooling maybe. I'll probably do some tailoring because we're gonna have a lot of leather. It'll be good for trading and also we do need to replace people's clothing because it does take damage now and just degrade over time in general stone cutting would also be good that way we could have more fortified structures so I think everyone's clothing will probably be good for the time being just from replacing it from pirate attacks and stuff like that so I'm gonna go ahead and do stone cutting and if we need to change it to something I may change it to something else so let's go ahead and research that and see what we need for this geothermal we only need one electric generator, so I bought four of them, so we do have extras now. And I'm not sure if this will take damage outside in the rain. So I'm going to wait for it to stop raining. I believe that's a 6x6. Six six. Let me check. So it'll be like that, and then like that. Power, yes, that is a 6x6. Six six. So I want to build a wooden wall like so so I don't want anything bad to happen to it and we'll put a door just right there and then once it stops raining we will get that hooked up to our power I'll probably run a few different power lines just for some redundancy so we don't lose power uh, if something bad happens okay so we need wood actually so it's good they're chopping those trees down. Let's go ahead and chop some of this stuff down. We do have all of this clothing up here that's just getting absolutely wrecked in the rain, which sucks. Plastil knife is just being left out there. This survival rifle, I don't know. Well, I guess Vast dropped it. Um, so even though it's a bad quality, I'm going to check it out real quick. Accuracy. Okay, it does. It just changed the values. So I guess there is the the penalty for short range. I just didn't notice it last time. Um, so at long, 61% accuracy. Short is 51. And how much damage do you do? 18 damage. Let's check out Ogre's Pistol real quick. Ogre's Pistol is very accurate up close and does 9 damage. The warm up is 0.9 seconds. Let's check this real quick. Uh, yeah, I think we'll keep his pistol. And Prissy, since your pistol is already in terrible quality, we're going to have you have the survival rifle. And then once this gets built, we'll drop our geothermal plant in. And we do need to check about security. So we can only build sandbags right now. Which is interesting. So I, I wonder, do we have to actually research gun turret cooling before we can get the gun turrets or am I just missing something maybe we need machining in order to build the turrets that could be the case uh, stone cutting won't take that long so I'm gonna go and do stone cutting and then afterwards we'll do machining I will take Prissy back off of plant cutting for right now and let's see if we can harvest some berries from this area up here. 
Because we're, we're not going to be able to get all this meat cooked up. I guess I can tell you to cook to 20. Because I believe the meal lasts a little bit longer than the raw food. Enter, well, the meat at least. Um, potatoes, we only have enough for another half of uh, crop that finished. So let's go ahead and drop this beastie down right there. Actually, let's cancel that because I want to put floors everywhere. I know I don't need the floors. And I know I could put floors in afterwards, but that would leave the spots around the vent unfloored, and that would bother me greatly. It may not bother you guys, but it bothers me. So we'll get all that stuff sorted out. We have lots of wood, so getting the flooring shouldn't be a problem. You guys better not be stealing my berries. We're hungry here. We're, we're poor and we're hungry. I do want to get you guys some, maybe some plants, just kind of in your room. Maybe that would make you guys feel a little bit better. Get you guys a plant. I don't know where to put it. I guess maybe up here. You guys are leaving, that's fine. We don't need you guys to stay. That all finished, which is great. We researched stone cutting. That only took like a day. Let's go ahead and get the machining done and see if maybe we need the machining before we can get the gun turrets. Uh, power, let's build our geothermal plants right here. And we can remove our plans. And then we will also need conduits. Okay, hopefully this will actually fill up our battery. Trade ship, TK Industries, slave trader. Alright, so this will be the black market style. So let's give these guys a call real quick. Uh, they have medicine, which is super overpriced, and we can't really afford it. Uh, ooh, viable seeds. Okay, so viable seeds are capable of thriving in a wide range of alien, envir alien environments, usually smuggled off of tightly controlled agriculture worlds and only available through the black market. Okay, so these are the ones that will not get destroyed. They are super expensive too. We can't really afford any of them. We could get like two of them. We could get three seeds. I don't even think that's worth it. I think I'm going to spend a little bit of silver we have on getting some medicine. I think that'll be more beneficial. We have lots of seeds stored up at the moment, and we're in a jungle full of animals, so we'll always have the meat. So let's get our power conduits done, and now we can start building the generator. This is all sorted. I do want to get some lights in here for, your, for them to see in. One, two, three, four. And power conduits. Let's go ahead and run this up. And across like so. They're visiting the colony, that's alright with me. Alright. We should have enough steel. And we can always go mine a little bit more from over here, which I will actually set up to be done. That way they'll have something to do afterwards. And I'm going to dig this out like one at a time because I don't want crazy things to escape and kill me. So once we run out of potato seeds, which looks like it'll be soon, we'll switch over to the rice and hopefully we get another trader where we can either get some food or some more of the terminator seeds. And then hopefully we'll be able to have power all day long. Prissy is just hard at work over there. We do need a crafting room set up, and I'm thinking about maybe doing it over here, attached 
to the trade depot that way they can just kind of walk in and out for their supplies I think that would probably be a good idea and do we have power? come on now are you not connected to everything? oh no you're not you're not connected to anything that's <laughs> yep I'm just gonna run these along alright let's go ahead and get that done they're gonna start doing some mining which is great let's, let's see about getting this so if I put it here maybe like that that should be enough room for like a tailor and a um, crafting sculptor and maybe even a machining bench so I think we'll do something like that so let's go ahead and structure wooden walls set you up like so and I'll actually put a door in actually I'm not gonna put a door in at all I think what we're gonna do is just deconstruct See one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, we're just gonna like deconstruct this wall right here, and then they can walk in from the trade depot. All right. Well, now our battery is super full, which is great. I guess we can go ahead and build another one. Because we have plenty of steel. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and build all three. I know we don't need to, but let's go ahead and build all three. And let's do... Our floors in here and see what we can do for production. We can do... A stone cutter's table. And... That's it. <laughs> Right, let's let's see how we can set this up. So we can do two right here, side by side, and then I can have one over here in the corner. So we can have stone cutter, tailoring, and like a a wood carver or something. And I guess technically I could do one like this, which I may do. So maybe we'll do something like that. We'll put standing lamp here. We'll actually I'll probably take out that whole wall. We'll put the stone cutters table over here. And I'll put a door in this side that way they can get over to the stone area. Actually, do I want them in the stone area? I think I want them just running back and forth just for security reasons because the wall is more durable than the door. Not by much, mind you, but... Let's go ahead and get that crap out of the way. Stonecutter's table, I will add a bill. Stone blocks, we only have slate and limestone on this entire map, I believe. So, let's go ahead and do... Um, I'm just going to set it up to do limestone first and then we'll do slate next. So we have limestone, search radius we'll do for 30, and I guess do it until you have counting stone blocks. We have 0 of 10. I guess do it until you have 100. I think they stack in 75. So we'll actually do, we'll do 150. Do until you have 150 limestone, and we'll do the same thing over here. And what did I make you? Made you 30. Okay. So this one, do until you have 150. And only do slate. Okay, so slate and limestone. Alright, cool. So that'll get done by, I think, Tom. Tom will get working on that whenever he's got some free time. Not really too worried about getting that rushed in. Um, 
It looks like we're actually gaining power on these batteries as well, which is pretty awesome. And let's go ahead and just deconstruct that right there as well. And I'll put some wood floors in whenever that gets done. And we'll put some flowers in there just to make it nice. It's really cramped in there, but yeah. So hopefully that should be our power situation sorted. We finished machining, so I definitely want to check that out. Um, sculpting, we actually have to research. That's interesting. So that gives us access to the picks, which will help us mine. Um, okay, I guess we need mechanoid hacking, and that just... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention again. So, outdoor uh, devices such as outdoors and turrets? I don't know what... I don't think outdoors is a device, but all right, let's go ahead and research that. Um, and machining, we can build a machining table, which we don't need at the moment. Mm, I want to get our power wrapped around because I don't want it just sitting there like that. Okay, well, that worked. I don't actually know where that's, oh, it's straight down, okay. All right, so, can't really do much else. I guess we'll get some stone blocks in time when Tom's not busy doing anything else. We have eight meals left. We don't have any meat left, so it looks like it's gonna be time for some hunting. So we'll get a little bit of meat going. Probably don't actually need that much meat. So let's do... Alright, Axel, you're, you're killing me. And by me, I mean my wooden walls. Please don't shoot him. You... <laughs> oh my goodness. Just go over here. What happened to you? I swear. You're trying to just murder each other. Right, let's go ahead and change this over to uh, rice plants and then we'll get some rice going and we need to get some silver so let me scout the map for a little bit of silver I don't think we have any on us uh, yeah we didn't make it to bite we have lots of steel I think we may need to get some stuff for trading like some tailoring and stuff going on that way we can have some better income I don't see any silver just out in the world I know we have this plasteel and I know we could mine it I'd rather save that for whenever we're working on our ship but I guess it wouldn't hurt to have it in there Let's see we've got some steel saved up and it looks like the wall does continue along this section I'm gonna keep mining it just a little bit at a time. Axel, you're not like bleeding, are you? Go. Which one's your bed? I want you to go get treatment. I don't understand why you're not gonna go get treatment. I guess you're fine. Alright, well. I'm going to go ahead and just throw caution to the wind, mine out all of that steel. Hopefully there isn't going to be a crack in it. And we do need a medical bed. Tom ruining Ogre's sleep so he can go plant a plant. I guess for right now I'll set that as medical, since it's not anyone's bed at the moment. Tom's working on some stuff. Axel has an infection in his right arm. Well, Axel, that's because you didn't go lay down. And also that sucks because if you had laid down and maybe you wouldn't have got the infection. And now we don't have enough medicine. Well, I guess all of our medicine is going to be going towards you now. Um, let's go ahead and take 
medicine and seeds off of this so we can just put food in here and this storage area trade depot one you have you have everything I, I don't I don't want buried cor I don't want any corpses in here um, yeah body parts I want for sure but yeah okay all right well I think I think things are going okay hopefully where did Axel go? Oh, he went up here. Um, hopefully his infection doesn't get too bad, and hopefully we also don't run out of medicine. That would kind of suck. And I think right now we're pretty much just waiting on the research to get done and seeing what we can make. We had to switch over our crops to rice because we ran out of the potato seeds, so we really need to get some, some trading done. We need to get some income done, so I'll probably research the tailoring bench next. That way we can start turning some of this leather that I've been selling into clothing and then sell the actual clothing instead for some money. But all of this actually relies on the fact that we have trading happen. Uh, the, the hunt for food is real. We're actually going through food fairly quickly. And we did have that accident because of, you know, as Axel was planting some rice and Ogre's like, well, I'm going to shoot past you. I've been practicing. Don't worry. No fear. Yeah. Things are going all right for Macroton. But I think that's going to be the end of episode four. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like, hitting that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Now, as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.